how to send a file in Microsoft Teams chat. I'm Pokas and help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know everything that you need to know to upload files and share them in your Microsoft Teams chat. So let's jump into it. Yes, I already added uh, or opened my Teams. I opened the chat and uh, in the new Teams, it's a bit different uh, compared to the old Teams. But basically what you can do is click on the plus sign and then uh, select attach file. And here you have in your attached file, you already have some suggestions. So if there are documents you worked on that you want to share, uh, then you can select one of these. Uh, they are directly already on your OneDrive. But most of the time I see people that upload documents from their PC to, um, to the cloud. So uh, what you do then is upload from this device and here you can go to let's see desktop for example these two documents you can uh, select them both and then go to open and once you have them open uh, you can uh, type a message that goes along with it and uh, one more important one here you can uh, select the permissions so if i click on there uh, then you will see that at this moment anyone has permissions what most of the people want to do is uh, say people in this chat because that's what um, what is important those people may access it none others so this is something that i recommend to check the uh, files uh, permissions and uh, something else you might want to do is uh, if they can edit can review can view or can download so if they just need to review your document then only do the reviewing and not the edit if they only had to view the document just use view if they don't need to download then don't download but that's most of the time not necessary so i'm going to set it on a view and something new here is that we also can set a date of expiry so for example i put it on 5 august and apply it so now um this document is changed, but I also need to do it for this document. So I'm going to do exactly the, the same. I'm going to set it to 5 August, apply. All right, you saw it's creating a shareable link. So here we go. I can uh, say, okay, have a look at these files. Once I share them, you will be able to open them and people will edit them on your OneDrive. This is really important because I uploaded them from my PC, which means in this case, they are still on the PC, not synced. But these documents I just added into the OneDrive um, or into the chat they are in my OneDrive now. So if I want to make changes as well, I have to open this document, this link, instead of the document you have on your PC. You can delete that document if you want. Now, here you have to, the three dots, and here you can say open in. And if I click on this, <coughs> sorry, uh, then you can say select which app you want to use. So by default, it's Teams uh, directly. Now this cannot uh, can sometimes be not handy. I will show you directly why, because or I will tell you now what happens is when you open it in Teams, you cannot see anything else what's going on in your Teams. So I prefer to open it in the Word desktop app and uh, have the normal functionality of Word. 
Now, if you don't have a desktop app, then I suggest to uh, select the browser. Now, this you can set up for um, uh, as default. So what I would do is change the default and here I would select um, the desktop app in my case. So I'm going to save it and now everything that happens in Teams when they send files and I click on them, they open up in the desktop. I think that's a really important one. So now that uh, we have them here, we could even uh, react to them or edit a message in my case and uh, forward it. Uh, copy link. If I click on copy link, by the way, if you like this video, like it and subscribe to my channel. This would help me a lot. And uh, I know only 90% of all people have not subscribed. So it would be great if you could subscribe. And, uh, and then I will copy the link. But if I'm uh, a user and I'm going to show you one moment. So if somebody else uh, shared a document, in this case Debbie, then I can uh, click on the links again. I can copy the link. And when I try to copy the link, it will open and it will say, okay, these are the current settings of the document. I can go on the settings and uh, here I see that um, which uh, settings are applied depending on uh, um, on um, your tenant settings people can change this uh, or use it and um, change it to for example everybody in the organization and i want to edit them so this is something that you need to be uh, very careful with uh, because now I have a copy and I can edit the document. All true, it uh, was uh, set to only uh, view. So uh, be aware of that, that it's possible to change the link of it. Now that's one way to uh, set, uh, send a um, file in this chat. Now the other way is um, I could click on a touch and here i can say attach cloud files which makes it open my uh, one uh, onedrive if i'm correct one thing you could do is for example add a document that is already there so in this case i'm going to select test debbie and uh, what you need to know about this is this this document can be anywhere on your OneDrive. So you are not exactly, uh, you are not sure where this document is. But here I can select the permissions again. And um, in this case, I have people in KBWorks demos, which means that if you have Copilot enabled, it will be searchable by everyone in KBWorks demos. So that's really important. Um, I'm going to uh, share it again. And in my case, it might be in the uh, files tab. So here we have the shared uh, tab. And under the shared tab, you will find all documents you have shared in this chat together or alone. Um, so in this case, you see all the files, which are quite a lot. Uh, in this case, it's recent. Now I'm going to click files and I see all my files that are available. If I have shared uh, links, then I will see the links as well. So here you see some old ones. Um, but um, basically what this does is it gives you an overview of all files that are shared so in this case you see that even this test docs uh, is in a sharepoint uh, library uh, and not even on the onedrive but this one is let's see this one is in uh, also in a library ha ah, that's interesting this one is on my OneDrive, that's I'm sure. <laughs> so here we go, we can select open and uh, here we can select again which ones we want. We can download it, 
but be aware if you download it, it's not in sync. So you cannot collaborate together. So this is really important. So to round it off, what you have seen is how to upload files directly into your chat, uh, set permissions on the chat uh, files and share them and set your default app to open uh, documents, uh, PDFs, images, etc. So if you want to know more, then uh, click on this video here on the right hand side or left hand side and uh, you will see more about Teams. Thanks for watching.